In this presentation, I will talk about Samuel L. Clemens, also known by his pen name Mark Twain. I will summarize his childhood, talk about his adult life, and will inform you on some of his famous works. Let's get started. Samuel L. Clemens was born in Florida, Missouri on November 18, 1835. From the young age of four, he moved to a small town placed along the Mississippi River named Hannibal. Him, his mom, dad, and six siblings lived in a small house just inside of town. This was the setting for many of his later stories, including Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. Growing up, Sam's family owned slaves. He would love to go to listen to the slave go to the slave quarters and listen to their stories during long summer days. Sadly, at the young age of eleven, his father passed away. By the age of twelve, Clemens had quit school and begun work at a printing press. At age eighteen, he moved to Philadelphia to work for a reporter and began sending his stories to his brother, who published some of his works in his newspaper. That was the beginning of his amazing writing career. At age 21, he convinced Horace Bixby to teach him how to pilot a steamboat, which is another reason that Tom Sawyer and many of others novels include steamboats and focus so much on river life. Clemens begins to write more while out on the boat. This is where he creates his pen name, Mark Twain, which is a steamboat term that means 12 foot feet of water. He continues writing and moving westward all the way to California. All the while, he works odd jobs like for a printing press and as a miner. He eventually moves back east and after two years of dating, marries his sweetheart Olivia Langdon in 1870 at the age of 34. One year after marriage, they move from Buffalo, New York to Hartford, Connecticut. There, Twain has three children. Susie, Clara, and Jean. Sadly, Susie died at the young age of 24 in 1896. This deeply saddened the Clemens family. And just eight years later, Sam Clemens' beloved wife, Olivia, dies. This makes Twain even more heartbroken. It's the final straw when his youngest daughter, Jean, dies in 1909. He's quoted as saying, I came with Halley's, Halley's Comet in 1835. It is coming again next year, and I expect to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I do not go, without, go out with Halley's Comet. The ha Almighty has said, no doubt, now here are these two unaccountable freaks. They came in together, and they must go out together. Just like he said, in 1910, Twain died of a heart attack. His daughter Claire, however, lived for another 54 years, to the age of 88. Throughout his life, Twain wrote many classics. His first was the celebrated Jumping Frog in, 18, in, in, in 1865. This story was based off a tale he had heard while mining in California. Twain's two most recognizable stories, however, are, of course, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. These two American classics are set in the same area as he grew up. You can tell by how, by how personable they are. Mark Twain wrote many other stories, true, like A Connecticut in Yankee in King Arthur's Court, The Trudged Pudding Head Wilson, and The Prince and the Pauper. Twain's literature will always be remembered because it gives us a peek into what it was like in the 19th century.